This is homework section 7.2, problem 23. It says that the number of chocolate chips in a bag of chocolate chip cookies is approximately normally distributed with a mean of 1262 chips and a standard deviation of 118 chips. Part A says determine the 25th percentile for the number of chocolate chips in a bag. Now we know that percentile means the number which has 25% of the data less than it. And when we're talking about a percent, so a percent always is equivalent to an area. So that's really important in this section. Percent is area and a percentile is area to the left. So in this problem, we have area to the left is 0.25. Now the other thing we know, we know it's normally distributed. So in StatCrunch, I'm going to go ahead and open my normal calculator. I'm gonna go stat calculators normal. And I'll put in the mean that they give me, 1262, 1262, standard deviation of 118. And I'm looking to the left, so I'm going to select less than or equal to. And I know that when I'm doing probability problems, the area or probability always goes in this box to the right of the equals sign. And so I'm going to put in 0.25. And when I compute, the value of number of chocolate chips shows up here in this other box. So we have 1182 chocolate chips and they say round to the nearest whole number as needed. So I'm gonna enter 1182. Okay, perfect. So part B says the number of chocolate chips in a bag that make up the middle 95%. And again, a percent equals an area when we're talking about a continuous probability distribution. So middle 95%, what I can do is in my normal calculator in StatCrunch, I'm going to click on between. I have the same mean and standard deviation as in part A, so I'll leave that there. I'm going to leave the two boxes around the X blank and I'm going to put in 0.95 as my area. And remember, area always goes in this box to the right of the equal sign in your normal calculator. When I compute, I get a lower bound and an upper bound for the number of chocolate chips. So I'm going to have 1,031 because I need to round to the nearest whole number to 1,493. Okay, now part C is the part that seems to give students the most trouble. It asks for the interquartile range of the number of chocolate chips. So if you remember, this was something we covered in unit one and we call the interquartile range the IQR, and that's equal to Q3 minus Q1, so the range of um, the middle 50% of your data. And so what we would do is we would find Q3. This is going to be the X value with um, 75% to the left. So it's like three quarters, 75 cents. And Q1 is the X with 
25% of the data to the left. So in my normal calculator, I'm going to go back to um, my standard normal calculator. For Q3, I'm going to put less than or equal to blank equals 0.75. So my Q3 is 1,342. So what I'll do is I'll write that down. So I have 1,342. And my Q1, I'm going to come back to my normal calculator, leave a blank in the X part and put in 0.25 for the area to the left. And that gives me my first quartile, 1182. So I have 1182. And when I subtract those, I'll just pull up a regular calculator here. So I have 1342 minus 1182 and that's 160. So that should be my answer here, 160. And now my labs plus is taking its time. Come on, my labs plus, you can do it. And we got it. So that is how you find the interquartile range. Find the X value that has 25% of the data to the left. That would be your first quartile. Find the X value that has 75% of the data to its left. That would be your third quartile, and then subtract Q3 minus Q1.